Chum Rip Su, or in English say hello from my country, Cambodia. We proudly call it the Kingdom of Wonder. Currently, I live in Siem Reap City, studying in year three at university. My major is English for education. However, I am never far from my village. My heart is closely to tie to rural Cambodia. I operate an NGO providing free education for the children in the countryside. My name is Kok Sol, and I am proud and excited to be here with all of you today. And my Excellency Prime Minister, Mr. Hun Sen, Cambodia is one of Asia hardest hit by the impacts of the climate change, such as flood, drops, extreme heat. Please consider the effects on our farming communities. And the farmers worked the mainly on natural rainfall. Ask our farmers how the climate has changed in the last 10 years. And they, they will see the wet season is shorter, the dry season is hotter. The rainfall is less, less uh, flooding destroys and land. They do not need the report say us, the World Resource Institute report on the Mekong adaptation to climate change. And the, the farmers know the various patterns are changing and your concern, however, should be that report predict climate change say us. And say us cost Cambodia Thai, Laos, and Vietnam $16 billion per year in lost worker productivity and crop production. And crop production and natural resource asset. And we must ask ourselves why this is so. The one case for the climate change can be attributed to long-term destruction to our forest and extensive clearing encourage use our land. And as the member of the Young Southeast Asia Leader Initiative, I am committed a long term with the member from other Asian countries to educating our community about the climate change and how to protect our fragile resources. And next month, I am planning a three planning days with my students from my school, from my local areas. And soon, there will be over 100 small trees leading the way for expanding the, the project. And a similar tree planning program will be carried out in other Asian countries. I believe the best way of protecting our forests and is to ensure the younger generation has knowledge and will to do so. And they should understand they don't have to wait to be an adult, to be an active member in their communities. And I respectfully ask you to include the climate change education into our national education program without delays. And I also ask your full attention and commitment and for more resources to be allocated to this problem. And the next 10 years, let's stem out together. And say as illegal logging, any form of land degradation, corrupt practices impacting on our nation's resource, and the mindings of sand in Kokong province. And yes, there are many challenges for us and generation have to come, but we can be optimistic.